Okay, I guess the song is over here. Um, <laughs> oh, little technical glitches, man. I tell you, you got to love them. All right, anyway, welcome to the show, folks. This is the Freakers Ball right here live on RealLibertyMedia.com on this Friday night, March 29, 2018, 19. <laughs> so close. Oh, man. Uh, so, uh, yeah. What's going on? Moose Girl's having a little problem, apparently. I, I don't know what the problem is. Maybe she's having technical issues of her own. I certainly was. But uh, that's just how it goes sometimes, you know, here on the Frickers Ball. Or on any live radio show. Yes, indeedy. So, anyway, welcome to all the folks out there in the various places you may be. Whether that be uh, realliberty.org or freedomsnetwork.com on the rlmradio.xyz what is what you mean it's a day I didn't even realize it was a day um, <laughs> oh god yeah yeah that's what we need a anyway um, I think everything's fine so anyway welcome to everybody out there in those places and welcome to everybody over here in the Real Liberty Media chat on freenode irc.freenode.net we, we got a great group of folks we always do it looks like uh, moose might have a problem i don't know um yeah i i, I didn't even know it was a day <laughs> ah sorry i was drinking some water um which i do a anyway so uh moose girl i guess she's having a problem i don't know uh anyway how do you all the folks over here in the rlm chat that would be the barman and myself and the moose girl. The wonderful Miss Kate and Mr. Asmo, Chalcedony, Graham Z. Another great show tonight. I beat Don C. and the Java Doctor and Meester Meister Brow. The Vin E. Ponder Gander. Mrs. Rain, Miss Rain. Uh, Mr. Rob Works. Rome's uh, the Vanna White Pot. Vin E. himself, not the Ponder Gander. W4DKV. The Weather Dork. That Miss Beth Z telling me what day is it? What day is it? Oh, <laughs> we got Phantom and Beetle and Benoit. We got Miss Circle and Colfax and the Cyborg Noodle. We got Dakota and Frumpy and Gromit and JJ's and Kozu. Carl Marx. I think that's a new bot. I, I I don't know. I think that's one of Sock Puppet's bots. I'm not sure. Anyway, we got Kiss and we got Pone Sauce. Mr. Sock Puppet himself, Tech Man, ooh, no, and the lovely Van Meter. Yes, indeed. So, uh, I, I think, I, I don't, I, I, I don't know. Anyway, all right. Hopefully everything's working. Uh, Moose is, uh, said, uh, I, I don't know what Moose Girl's going, got going on there, but she has a non, RLM is not loading. RLM is not loading. Okay, well, um. Is your is your thing on? I'm gonna try and wire you, and uh, see if we can get you in here on the line. I don't know. I'm gonna try and wire at you. Wire at you. Now it's on. Okay, let me call her. <laughs> oh, sometimes I tell you, man, <laughs> you can't do broadcasts. Well, but yet, but can you talk on the wire? That's the real question. Yeah, that's it. and that's what I'm trying to do, do here, Moose. Uh, I'm trying to call you on the wire. And I, I see it ringing. I hear it ringing. What? I don't see it ringing. I just hear it ringing. If I could see it ringing, now that would be a trick that I might like to come up with. Um, but a bit of a boo. So she is not answering for whatever reason. Okay. Um, I'll tell you what we're going to do in that case then. <laughs> Since she's not answering the wire, let's just go to some music here. <laughs> you just did. Oh, well, I, well, I hung up on you then. All right, let me try her again. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> this is just, just, this is just fun. Okay, she just answered it. She said, "Okay, <laughs> is your thing on? Make sure your thing's on." We want to make sure we we got to have that thing on. Oh, she had to plug in the headset. All righty, baby. We got this phone a ringy dingy dingy ding in. And I'm just waiting, waiting on the bottom of this. 
Hello. There she is. Hello. Can you yeah, hear me? here I am. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah. All righty. That's <laughs> good to know. <laughs> oh my uh, fucking god. More, more, more issues, huh? <laughs> it's my computer. If I leave it for idle for a little bit, it fucking some come back. Got to restart everything. Yay! They're, they're telling me so that. fun. All right. Yeah, I'm fucking loud. Great. All right, I'll bring you down. Wonderful. This, well, I like being right. super fucking overly loud. Okay. Okay. No, I don't. <laughs> How's that? Better, guys? Oh, boy. <laughs> All right. Moose? Yeah. All right. All right. Hey, right, we got you. Okay. Okay. So... Anyway. I'm sorry, but that's what I say when my computer's a piece of shit, is, oh my fucking God. <laughs> because you click on something and you get no response. Like, I was out for dinner, so I come home. I come home, I jump on my computer. Click on Real Liberty Media. Okay, great. Everything else taking forever to reload. No, so it's not working. So that means I have to shut down my browser and start all over again. It's such, it's so fucking fun. Yeah, well. It's just a fucking blast to deal with this computer. <laughs> Trust me, it's not. Yeah, I had several tech issues of my, of my own right before the show started. So uh, my uh, my uh, synergy thing wasn't working. So I and, I and I have to have both computers to do the show, which I which means I need synergy op op operating properly. Yeah, I wanted to be here 15 minutes fucking early, but I was out to dinner, and then I had to go get my other son dinner. Right. So, yep, right, I got right. here like five minutes okay, to ten, everybody. thinking everything would be great. Yeah. Okay, great, yep. All right, all right. Everybody, you know what? Every this ain't fucking CNN, so I don't give a fuck. All right, well, everybody has Volunteer tickets. gig. So. Volunteer gig. No big deal, no big deal. Anyway, you're here. How are you doing? Yes, I am. No, I'm not putting up with it because this computer's a piece of shit. Right. I, you well, don't know the story, but don't I just I, 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 I ordered a $930 computer from Amazon. Got it. Great. Great computer. Got it hooked up. Great. Okay. Worked great for a week. A couple weeks. All of a sudden, it fucking dies. Yeah, yeah. So, All right, it's not Liz. that I haven't tried to upgrade my equipment. I, I did upgrade my equipment, and it fucking didn't work out. Right, so you got to get another one, and we'll wait for that to happen. That's fine. Right. So, but other than that, Mrs. Lincoln, <laughs> how did you enjoy the play? Um, <laughs> uh, no, so how are you doing? I'm hanging in there, you know. Yeah, it's, yeah. I'm just frustrated. I'm frustrated because I tried. I tried to upgrade my computer system. I tried to get a better system. I did it, okay, thinking, okay. great, I'm going to be good to fucking go. All right, the thing all right, that bugs well, me the most right. about it is that I put my shit on there. You know, I put all my files on there. And we, shit. Know. we know. And then I had to fucking send it back, which really bothers me because goddamn fucking whoever has access to my information now. Right. Great. Unless the hard drive was truly dead, which I don't know for sure if it was or not. Right. Well, anyway, that's fine. You're going to get another one. <laughs> and then we'll go on from I'm there. Not, I don't think I should, Jim. I really don't. I, I think I just, I'm just i stuck with this one, and I just have to deal with it. Because, obviously, I'm cursed when it comes to fucking electronics. It's just... Yeah, well. All right. All right. So, yeah. It's just frustrating. You know, I, 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 I come home. I open up the, the RLL Media fucking tab. Right. Click on the volume, nothing. 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 So then, okay, shut down the browser, reopen it up, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But you got the, you got the edge fixed. Yay. Yeah. Thousand dollars. Woohoo! But it's fixed. Yeah. And it had to be fixed because otherwise it wasn't going to be drivable. Right. You can't drive with bad tie rod and uh, bad ball joint. True. True enough. Your car will fuck up. 
if yep, you do that. Yep, yep, yep. So, yeah, anyway, um, not the best day. Okay. But, uh, yeah, it did the, uh, the left outer tie rod, the right front ball joint, and an alignment. 400 bucks. Plus the 600 plus dollars in tires. Yeah, all that, too. Thousand dollars. Yay. <laughs> I did tell them that, Kate. I'm like, okay. It's not even the boys. It's Zach that drives it. Man has his own vehicle. Um, I said, Zach, even when this is fixed, you can't be go driving all gung-ho, again, going over potholes and railroad grades, all like at 60 miles per, per fucking hour. <laughs> I got plenty. I got, I got a bucket full of them, Frumpy. Don't worry. <laughs> they both go to college. Matt has a job. Zach says he has a job, but... Uh, no, not yet. All right. Anyway, so what else is going on? What else? <laughs> yeah. The snow is melting. The birds are chirping. Well, that's good. Those are both good things. Yeah, those are... Baseball started. Baseball started. Yeah. Okay. And yesterday, during opening day... Yeah. There was 48 home runs. Wow. 48 home runs on opening day yesterday. That, 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 that's, a, that's a lot of home runs. Which was a record. Yeah. I, I, I would guess so. Yeah. <laughs> no, they've been on spring break this week. Yeah. I mean, they get more breaks than, you know, anything. Right. So, yeah. Cool. But I told Zach to come home so he wouldn't starve to death at college at the dorm when no one's there. Right, right. So he brought, he got home, came home, so he could do his laundry and stuff and eat food. Sure. He had no food there and no job, so... No, I don't have a new computer. I did have a new computer, but right. it failed. So then I had to send it back. A new internet provider? No, that's not the, that's not the issue. Okay, cool. The issue is not my internet service. The issue is my fucking computer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I, I've been there, done that, spent 930 bucks... The super fucking zipped up computer. Zip it I had it for like two weeks. It worked great. So I thought, okay, this computer is good to go. Yeah. No problem. Put sure. my files on there. Transfer my files from my old computer. Blah, blah, blah. All good. And so then I must have missed an update or something. I don't know. But all of a sudden, it I go to restart and nothing. Yeah. Can't even get into the fucking thing. Wow. Get this error message saying something about the hard drive. It's like, are you fucking kidding me? No, uh, no, it's uh, we 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 know we know. So. I know people who are you chatting. What? Oh, <laughs> uh, it's a bot. So <laughs> that makes no sense. <laughs> All right, booze. We're we're gonna play some music. I'll settle down. Trust me. It's just so frustrating. I when you know, go to do something and you just, you click on your a button, you click the thing, and nothing. Nothing. Like, absolutely no response whatsoever. And granted, I'm running Windows 7. I'm not doing Windows updates and shit because I don't have 10 on this machine. I really didn't want 10, but I broke down and got 10 on that new computer that I had. Right. And guess what? <laughs> Nothing. I'm just cursed. I am. I'm fucking cursed when it comes to goddamn electronics. That's all there is to it. Yeah. And not just electronics, other things too, but let's not go there right now. All right. We're good. All right. <laughs> okay. All See right. you on the flip side. Yes, indeed. Nice song, nice song. Strange vid, to be sure. Tom Betty and the Heartbreakers, Mary Jane's Last Dance. A little necrophilia never... Wait, oh, never mind. 
Anyway, before that, we had Billy Strings with uh, Turmoil and Tinfoil. And kicked it off there with Omar and the Howlers, live from Germany with Rock and Roll Ball on the Freaker's Ball. Yeah! <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Moose, I, 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 I don't know what to say. Um. <laughs> I don't either most of the time, dude. I just say whatever the hell, you know? Right. right. I mean, I, I'm thinking about what I'm saying, you know, <laughs> but... Yeah, yeah. Um, but... <laughs> oh, am I, am I here? Let me see where I am. Are you there? Oh, I muted. I muted again. Oh, crap. I have to put the right. clip thing on here. Yeah, you muted, and I, and I was busy looking for a link. Um, oh, great. <laughs> what a wonderful radio we're having tonight. Oh, is that the right one? It's a wonderful, wonderful start to the show. Anyway, just kidding. Um, so, yeah, it's just... Uh, yeah, it's, it's just been... Uh, Crazy, just like the car repair thing. Just like, uh, it's like really a thousand dollars, yay! Uh, no, but no, I'm glad it got done, and it had to be done because the guy at the shop wrote the left or the left front tie rod was extremely loose, and he put that in capital letters and put a square around it. Okay. So I'm like in total like worried about Zach taking it for two days, which he didn't drive it a lot, but I'm like, dude, you have to baby this thing for two days. Like, don't, if you see a pothole, avoid it. Right. Because if that tie rod goes, or that ball joint goes, that car is disabled hey, we'll immediately. Exactly. And so you can't have that, because then that causes more damage, right? Right. And so, um, just bit the bullet and got it done because it's worth it. It's a good enough vehicle to get the the work done. It's got 150,000 miles on it, so you know, stuff does wear out and break down over time. That it does. And that's why the tires wore out prematurely. So I really can't blame the dealership where I got the tires. I can't blame the place where I got the tires because, you know, they can turn around and say, well, your suspension was bad. You know right. what I mean? Exactly. And that's what causes the tires to wear out prematurely. Sure. So I don't think I'm even going to try to get any money back on those. I mean, I don't know if it's worth it or not. I guess I could give one more call to the place and say, hey. Because yeah. the guy said he was going to check with Pirelli to see if it wasn't Goodyear tires. It was Pirelli tires. And to see if they would give me something back on it, you know, but... They were 50,000-mile tires. I used them for 23,000 miles. So, literally, they should have been half good still, right? I would think so, yeah. But if your suspension's bad, then it's going to wear down your tires prematurely. Oh, yeah, much faster. Right. And so that's why you need to get the balancing, the rotating, and all that. The wheel, make sure your wheels are aligned and everything. And it's an old vehicle, so... I mean, I don't think Pirelli is going to do anything for me. I mean, at this point, I'd have to say, hey, dude, I already got new tires on it because I had to have them. I mean, I couldn't wait, you know. Right, yeah. And so those guys at that tire shop, though, are really good, though. They're really good. It's called Affordable Tire, and it's so such a good place. Like, they they set me up right, dude. Even that shop in Menominee was $50 more for the work I just had done. So it was four fifty as as opposed to four four hundred. Oh. Well. So I went to the place that gave me the cheaper quote, you know. Sure. sure. So me. anyway, other than that, that's about it. I mean, yeah. wait, the snow's melted pretty much mostly all the time. All, all the way, I mean, and um, yeah. But now I need a new back door. So, yeah, you know, it's just yeah. one thing replaces the other. It's like I can't get out from under this. It, it, you can't. You never can. You really can't. I mean, you try, but you can't. You right, can't. right. Well, 
Because right. as soon as you turn around, something else breaks or it needs fixing. It's hey, like, that's, oh, that's my God. life, you know. That's, that's just how life goes. It is. Right? It is. Right. You know? Yeah. And so I'm, I'm, like, I'm like, I think I'm having like a midlife crisis. I really do. Okay. I must be meant to live to 104 because I think I'm having a midlife crisis right now. Like, uh, I, I, don't, I don't think it's that exactly timed. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it's a midlife crisis, a true one. Yeah. Then I would I would be, you know, never mind. Anyway, I think I am. And it's just like, you know, I knew 18 years ago that I was committed to being a mom. See? And now they're they're almost 19 years old. Right, Rome. Yeah. I mean, I think I you know, I I don't even feel my age to begin with, so I feel like I'm 20 years younger or something than I am, you know. So there you go. But um it's just like now it's my well, time. We'll, we'll know. We'll know uh, if you're having a midlife crisis or not. If you go start dating like a 25 year old. Well, yeah. See, no, that's not going to happen. There's no fear <laughs> in that. So I don't think I'll ever be having a midlife crisis. If that's how you define a midlife crisis, that won't be happening. Well, I mean, that's what they do, right? I'm that's, not that dumb. That's, that's that's where they come from. They, they you know. I'm they, not like one of these pedophile fucking school teachers here. Right. <laughs> I said 25. <laughs> well, yeah, but some of these pedophile school teachers are 25. No. That's not me. That's not me. I, no, I, anyway. I, I, <laughs> and I'm right. talking about the female pedophile school teachers, all right? Right, but but they're 25. I said if yeah, you started... the teacher is. Yeah, but if I said if you started dating a 25-year-old... Right, right. No, that would be like... Yeah, that, that would be no. It's no, not a no, pedophile at that point. Yeah. No, but that's too much of an age gap. Right? That's way too much of an age gap. It's like, no way. No fucking way. No. No. That would not ever work. All right. Well, I have, I a, have a 10 year. Didn't, didn't I tell you about my 10 year, like, guideline? Yeah, yeah, but yeah, but that was before your midlife crisis. Well, no. Now I, that you're in the midst of it. You're defining midlife crisis in a sexual way. That's not at all how I'm defining it. I'm just like a wanderlust person. Like I need to fucking go places. I like, heard. I heard lust. Travel. I need to move around. All, all I, I heard there was lust. Were, what? All I heard there was lust. So. <laughs> wanderlust. <laughs> wanderlust. Not lust. Wanderlust. Wanton, wanton lust. No, oh. not that even. Wander. Wander. All right. Now, I got. I have a question for you. Now I, I know you're you're not really much of a bonger. You, you, a what? A bonger. A bonger? Yeah. Bong ripper? Yeah. Uh, I can, but yeah, but you're more you're more of a, a pipe person, whatever. Yeah, but, I am. But but Definitely. I came across this this uh, this article here. It's basically a question from internationalhighlife.com, and the question is: Does hot bong water provide a better hit? Hot? hot. Uh, not if it's boiling hot, well, though. Well, it didn't say boiling, it just said hot. Hot, warm, then. <laughs> it should be warm. No, hot. It could be hot without okay, boiling. Hot. All right, okay, does it? Does it work? 211 degrees is, is hot. Okay, boiling. that's boiling. No, 212 is boiling. <laughs> oh, 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 close enough, dude. It's still going to fucking oh, scar your goddamn throat. All right, all right. <laughs> Burn your fucking lungs. It's going to hurt like hell. Right. I, I I like the cold water. I like the ice in the bong. Smoky myself. weed should not hurt. Okay. I, I, I prefer ice in the bong. Right. Nice, Smoky cool, weed should not hurt. Cold bong hit. Anyway, according to this article here, it says if you've okay. never tried using hot or cold water in your bong <laughs> inst instead of room temperature water, okay. you may be pleasantly surprised about the results. While no substantial evidence of using hot or cold water in your bong is more beneficial to your health. Each method produces favorable results, so your preferred method will ultimately be, be whichever, whichever provides you with the hit you're looking for. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Um, it says the benefits of hot water. It says the steam produced tends to soothe the throat and prevent uncomfortable irritation. Ah, that makes sense. The, the hit from the bong is much smoother than with room temperature water. Okay. And the heat melts the thick resin, allowing the water to pass into the lungs. I agree with that. Okay, so with using hot water in your bong, bong, <laughs> bong, <laughs> bong, your bong, your bong. Uh, be, be sure it's approximately the same temperature as you prefer to drink your tea or coffee. 
warmer, okay. wa warmer water could produce too much steam and irritate the back of your throat or even burn it. Right. Hot water in your bong is much cooler than the temperature of the burning material in your bowl. Therefore, filtering the smoke will provide a much cooler and smoother hit. This often allows the consumer to take much larger hits with less throat irritation, resulting in a much more potent high. The warmer water also prevents resin from cooling down as quickly, leaving uh, less, less stuck to the sides of the bong. Cold water. Using cold water in your bong will result in the following. The cold water quickly cools the smoke before it enters the lungs. The smoke is thick and milky and often pref preferential when taking massive hits. Um, <laughs> more, more, resin is collected, <laughs> more resin is collected in the bong, which results in less resin in the lungs. Uh, <laughs> the smoking experience can be harsh. Uh, I, said, I, I, like, I like the cool. Anyway. Yeah, I do too. I mean, well, but I think though I do agree with the temperature. It's it's the same hot, the same temp as a, like a co that you would drink coffee at. Then you could tolerate it, and you would know that you're not going to burn your throat or something. You know. Right. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I yeah I've always I've always liked to have a little. It, it, little you know. Ice you know. It's, it's funny to me because it's like people can't just smoke the shit. It's like, oh, let's try to get higher on it. Yeah. Oh, let's yeah. do all these different methods and see if you get higher. It's like, what the fuck, people? Aren't you just happy enough without getting high on it? You know, do you have to, like, go to extreme measures? Oh, let's try smoking hot water and see if it makes it higher. Let's try smoking coke, smoking it with ice cubes and see if we get higher. Whatever. Let's try smoking an apple and see if we get higher. Yeah. Plus, you it's like... Yeah, you know, I've heard that eating mangoes and smoking weed will in increase your high. Right. So it's not really the method, maybe, that you're smoking it. It's what you're doing before and after you're smoking it and during while you're, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. I mean, so people, they, they just go all out there, dude. Oh, well, let, you know, let's do this. And, yeah, it's a better high. It's a better high, yeah. Yeah. But sure. not for everybody, right? No, no probably not for everybody. Nothing for everybody, you know. Exactly. Everybody's a little different, so. Right, yeah. right. Okay. That's uh, just like, I, go ahead. Uh, well, uh, I don't know why you're done, you done with that. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right, another topic. Okay. How 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 long would you say eggs in your refrigerator are still edible. I'm so glad you said my refrigerator. Well, where else would they be? <laughs> I don't have, actually, I, I don't have any eggs, viable eggs anymore. Oh, Other eggs. Your refrigerator. My personal that's eggs. Cook and eat. <laughs> so I said, I'm so glad you said refrigerator. <laughs> so okay, I, I, um, I would say a couple months. All right, according to this article here from <laughs> Frugal Living Freedom. Mm hmm. If you're concerned about the old eggs that should you old eggs you shouldn't be unless we're talking about eggs that are more than six months old or ones that haven't been handled properly or haven't wow. been refrigerated. So Well if, see that's the key, you know. Yeah. So if you if you you know, brought them home nicely from the from the store and you put them in the fridge and they've been sitting in there mm -hmm. and it's like three, four months down the road and you go, Oh, these are still good. They're still good. Uh, really? According to this Anyway, so, so let's take a look at the eggs that are that are older and, and what we, what it means to have them. Uh, you might be surprised some eggs that are older are particularly useful for certain meals. Uh, it says, I'm very familiar with both fresh and not-so-fresh eggs that have some experience in these matters. Eggs naturally come in their own container. Duh. Uh, <laughs> it's called a shell. Yeah. Anyway, um, kind of like a banana or an orange. It's a handy container that we can put to good use. Having a natural container helps extend the shelf life of eggs so we can enjoy eggs that are many months old provided we follow some common sense with respect to harvesting uh, I guess that's if you but yeah. we don't know how they were harvested no, no, when no. you buy them at the store you have no idea uh, I know but you can figure the ones at the store are at least within a month I mean, less, less than right a month. right right true yeah um, anyway so anyway it goes to, in this article I'm not going to go through it all with you but uh, it talks about different things, which ones are good for baking, which ones are good for boiling, which ones are good for just general usage and stuff like that. Um, and it's got a whole section on uses for old eggs. And um, Yeah, I remember one time, I think only once in my life have I actually opened up and, you know, 
broke open eggs and they were really rotten. Yeah. Like, I, they were probably older and I thought, oh, they might still be okay. Or they weren't and stored properly. Them. Yeah, and then I broke them open and they were rotten. Yeah. And so, like, after that, that kind of freaked me out. I'm like, oh, well, you gotta get, you know, they must go bad fast. But they don't go bad as fast as you think they do. No, And, like, no. we've talked about before, those expiration dates that they put on there are a guideline. Right. They're like, you know, you can't, you don't always have to go exactly by that. I mean, like, sometimes the milk's going to be a little a couple days past the expiration date. And it's still good. Yeah. It, as and it comes it, down, uh, as long what? as it hasn't turned on you, then you're fine. As long as it's been stored properly and handled properly, it's good a couple days after well, that expiration uh, it, it, date. The thing, with, uh, the thing with that, though, is... You could you could sniff the milk and see if it's good or not. Oh, definitely. <laughs> but with, that's the tumble house. That's what that's what you do. But but with an egg, it's a little harder because you have to actually right. open it. You gotta, you know. <laughs> right, 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 exactly. And and eyeball it. So. Uh, yeah. Yeah. One more. Yeah, one I mean, more, you uh, know. One more. What? One more handy hint from Moose and Graham. Graham and Moose. Alrighty. Yeah, another one. I, in, no, and I have one more for you. Oh, oh, okay, one more. Nice. Uh, cast iron pans. Yes, and, I believe in and, those. And, yeah. and, and I, I don't really need to go through this article with you because it, it's kind of a it's a guide um, uh -huh. on on how to care for, clean, and season your pans. Mm -hmm. and, and, it, and it's pretty um, it's pretty extensive the the thing they got described here, but. Uh, and, and there's a lot of nonsense. This woman who wrote it, I think it's a woman, isn't it? Yeah, Holly. Um, she talks about her little feelings on this, that, the other thing. But it does give all the information. It gives yeah. all, all the information, you know, how to clean the pans, how to uh, do all, all kinds of different things with that, uh, how, to, how to season it is, is a big step. Um, right. Oh, yeah, that's huge. And you just got to oil them up. Keep yeah, them oils it tells you so which, oils, which oils at what heat. Okay. And such yep. things like that, and uh, all, all those wonderful things that you might need to know if you love the cast iron. And um, and yep. I do. I, I I like it a lot. Anyway. So oh, there. I don't. I use steel right now. I use um, stainless steel pans right now. Okay. And I do have some cast iron pans that I could resurrect. Right. Um, but I don't use them on a regular basis. They are like I before in the past when I've used cast iron pans. I didn't know how to properly season them and take care of them, because the worst thing, one of the worst things you can do really is just wash them with soap, like Dawn dish soap. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so I made the mistake of doing that, and I because I didn't know any different, didn't know better. Well, um, if, but there is a few. Even even if you did that with it with cast iron, yeah. Okay. Let's say you took it and you you took the Brillo pad and used the right, right. Dawn whatever on there. As mm -hmm. long as you dry it properly after that, after you dry right, it, which, true, which, which means you can either put it in the oven and bake it for a while, yeah, or uh, I I just put it on top of the stove and then turn okay. the burner on, right, and, and that will heat it up and, and dry it out until it's right. all dried sure. out. And then after you've done that, then you need to then you oil it, then you need to reseason it, right, yeah. which means oiling it and rubbing that oil in there, you know, not just putting oil in there, letting it sit. you got to actually take oil and rub it in there, you know. Well, it's... A little bit. Yeah. yeah. You know. Just, just check out the uh, check out the woman's yeah, article cool. there. Good and, information. Uh, cool. Yeah. So. Great. Just helpful stuff for the people, and you I, know? I thought I had some bookmarks saved for this week, but I don't. I do have one. I just want to pass along real quickly. If you guys want to get into tie dyeing at all, or dyeing, or any kind of textile um, techniques, uh, or to buy bulk items like bulk shirts, bulk dyes, bulk whatever, this is your resource. It's called DharmaTrading.com. All right, and that's they're located in California. They've been selling hippie. You know, die, dies to hippies since the 60s, <laughs> and um, it, they're a really good resource, and I would highly recommend them because I've ordered from them before. They have very good products. It's the go-to resource for tie-dyeing and textile coloring and even getting shirts, you know, in bulk. Right. 
and scarves and any other kind of fabrics that you might want. Cool. And I, I, I have not thought about tie-dyeing for a while, so I haven't been to their site for a while. didn't even know if they were actually still around. I'm actually going to re-sign up for their catalog because I've moved since I got their catalog. And um, just a very good resource, Just even just to get their catalog. Even if you're not into tie-dyeing right now, that is the go-to place. Okay. And they have hemp products. Yes, they do. And they're a very good company. Very good company. I would recommend them to anybody, yes. All right. There you go. 49 years they've been in business, so um, there you go. Excellent. That's one bookmark that I had. Okay, what? I said excellent. Yeah, yeah. Things are better, Goober. You can't believe how good things are. If you only opened your eyes to the wonder right. of everything. Well, it's not just that. It's like... <laughs> For me, like, I cannot get bogged down in this shit. Like, I have to fucking do things that get me away from this bullshit, all the bullshit. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, all the bullshit. Sure, Everything. Sure. Just go listen to a live band sometime. You know? Do or something. not even go, go and see a live band. Just put a fucking cool album on. Whatever, on YouTube. What, whatever. You know? Figure you out just, what, you know, you, you gotta know right. what makes you happy. Do that. Right. You gotta distance yourself yourself from this shit. Otherwise, you'll drive yourself crazy. You know, I mean, when I first started broadcasting, I remember I was so worried about everybody else. I'm like, well, what about these people? What about these people? I know. It's like, you know what? You, you can't do that. <laughs> you, you'll drive yourself fucking crazy. Yeah. You know, you will. You'll drive yourself fucking crazy, and that's that's what they want you to be. You know, they want you to drive yourself fucking crazy. They, the ubiquitous, they, the dickheads, whatever you want to fucking call them, um, they want you to play into their plan. And that's why they do this shit with the media. Oh. The mainstream media. Goober, you don't need Jessica Hahn and $2 a minute. No, you, you dude, have the, that's from 89. You, you have the internet and all the porn you could ever want. <laughs> right, and it's even free porn. You ain't gonna pay. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, it's just called you can't let it control you because that's what they want. Right. Yeah. And as soon as you're letting them control you, they won. Get your head out of their mess. It, it don't right. matter. Right. They it fucking matter. won, and it's like fuck you, bitch. You're not fucking winning. I don't give a fuck. There you go. You steal from me. You do all this shit to me. You're still not winning, bitch. No, you ain't. <laughs> you know, simple as that. I'm not playing your game. I'm not getting your vaccines. I'm not believing your bullshit. I know I'm being lied to. I'm not one of your fucking lemmings. Right. Fuck you. Yeah, I play your fucking game, but I don't like your game. I don't want to play. I only do what I have to do. I do the bare minimum. There you go. Of what I have to fucking do. And my freedom does exist. Damn I am right. free. And the place where I am free is in my fucking mind, bitch. That's right. You know? And they can't take that. I haven't let them have that yet. They don't get to have that. Or my soul. That's right. So you know what they can do? Kiss my fucking ass. Pucker up. Yep. <laughs> Bend over, bitch. All right, we're going to so go. So I can kick your ass. We're, we're going to go to some more music here. Okay. Let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> because this song, I think, fits right in, and it just worked yeah. out that way. I didn't plan it uh -huh. this way, but... Uh, and yeah. music is awesome. It is awesome. It is. For those I don't, you know, any music is fucking awesome. <laughs> so listen, listen up there, there, Goober, and the rest of yeah. y'all. Yeah, you know, let's do that. Uh, life ain't always wonderful, but... It, no, it's uh, not. It's as easy as you really want it to be, pretty much. Right. Right. But this here, listen in anyway. Boy, this is cool. This is cool. Nothing is easy. Thanks for coming. All right. That was uh, Queen's Reich, a Rome's request with a song called I'm American. I I'm not familiar with that song, but it was not too bad. Yeah. So, uh, all right. Uh, let's see. When, when was that? Is that a new song? When did that come out? No, that's like almost 10 years old, 9 years old now, so uh, at least that video is, so yeah, I don't know that song, no, whatever, I'm American, 
And before that, we had uh, Tesla covering Stone's Honky Tonk Women with a bunch of, uh, what do you call those girls? Um, Victoria's Secret girls <laughs> marching around. And we kick it off with Death Row Till Nothing Is Easy. <laughs> hey, thank you, Rome's. So uh, now Moose is, uh, Moose is where? Moose is, Moose is muted? I don't know where she's at. She's somewhere. Calling all Moose. Calling all Moose. <laughs> uh, are you with me, Moose? <laughs> all right, I don't know if she's with me or not. I see her chatting, so she's here. But I'm not hearing her. Uh, what do you do? What can we do? I don't know. She, uh, she, uh, she's there in the chat. Moosey! Mooska! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Oh, you had to close wire. Okay. Well, open it back up, baby. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, open, open her back, crack that baby back up. All right, all right, we well, see you. I see the message. All right. So uh, anyway, um, if I, do I sound do, do, I, do I sound different? Do I, do I do I sound different today? Yes, there she is. I'm calling. She says I'm calling. Hello? Hey. Hey. Hey, I'm here now. All right, good. I can't mute the player right now. It's not loading. Can you mute the tab? Uh, there should be a yes, little, I did. I muted the tab. I muted the tab. All right, cool. <laughs> there we go. Good to go now. Great, great. All right, sorry about that. Um, Total meltdown again, my computer. This machine does not behave no. at all. No, we know that. And so it's like, yay, it's just always a fun time. Always. Not really. It's a party. It's an endless, you never know what's going to happen. Endless party with that machine. Yes, it is. You know, and here I am on it. And, uh, uh, yeah. Here I am back now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good. That's good. <laughs> okay. So there was some things that happened this week. With this Jussie, I mean, it's not a huge thing, but I'm just going to talk about it for a little bit. All right, go ahead. And I had a conversation about it with my son. Yeah. And um, I was listening to the radio station in the morning. Yeah. In the, the Minneapolis radio station, they had a teacher call in talking about this Jussie Smollett thing. Right. Okay? Right. This black guy that claimed he was beat up, blah, blah, blah. He hired people to do it, blah, blah, blah. Right. Anyway, so he gets exonerated, or the charges get dropped this week against him. And my thing is, is the reason the charges were dropped is because he's a rich guy with a rich family that could hire a good lawyer. And so it just goes to show you, it doesn't really matter what color you are. It matters how much money you fucking got. Well, I, I have a different feeling on the matter. All right. Go ahead, Grim. Um, well, you, you know, it's not so much that he was a rich guy that was able to hire a good lawyer. Um, it, it, it was, well, it's in Chicago to start with. Right. And Chicago is like one of the most corrupt places out there. Exactly. No, okay. I agree with that. That's but, true. But when you started talking about this, you said, that they had exonerated him. Well, not exonerated, no, no, but he but, they, they but, the chart. Right, but but that was one of the key words that that came out in the beginning of the story. Oh, really? Was, okay. Was they had exonerated him? And, mm -hmm. and here's the thing: it, it happened two days after the Mueller report came out. Right. Exactly. And and, and when Trump started using the word exonerated. exonerated. So they brought this, I think they did that to try and crush the story about the Mueller thing and Trump not, not having any collusion. 
Okay. Right? And, and, and right. Trump, Trump coming out on Twitter and everywhere else. Oh, yeah, I'm exonerated. I'm, I'm perfect. You guys are full of shit. I told you all along I was innocent. I was exonerated. And then a couple of days later, this guy, they, oh, he was exonerated. <laughs> was right. Like, oh, come yeah. on. <laughs> how, how, how plain, yeah. you know, blatant could you be uh, about, about this right. type of yeah. thing? Right, yeah. It, True. It, it, was, it was absolutely done to try and, uh, you know, hide the other story uh, about oh, the, the whole Trump thing. But, you know, they've been dragging that shit out for two years. Oh, big so, time. So they're going to need a bigger thing than, than, a, than this clown uh, right. getting off in a corrupt city with a, a corrupt... Yeah, it's totally a distraction. It's totally fucked up. It, it, attorney, it, yeah. Yeah, it's just yeah. nonsense. So, right, it um, is. It's totally nonsense. It, it's <laughs> just ridiculous. It's, it's and whoever whoever even heard of the guy be, before? He was on a TV show, but he wasn't even the main actor on there. No, no, no one no, ever no, even no. heard of this dude. He wasn't on yeah. any TV show I ever saw. I saw not I, me I, either. I didn't know who the fuck he was <laughs> until this story broke. And, and then they said and he was an actor on Empire, which I've never watched that show. And, 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 and I had no idea who this guy was. And yeah. Kate points out, uh, just Jesse's attorney was Avante's co-conspirator on the Nike extortion attempt, and Avante was Avanati. He's he's whatever. on the on the raked over the coals right now too. Yeah, he was he was he was the hooker's lawyer, right? Lawyer, right? Yeah, yeah. Stormy Daniels, yeah, the, the stripper slash hooker slash whatever. mistress, uh, whatever. She was an ugly hooker. Uh, I don't, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> she was. And you know, she's not a pretty woman. Right, no. <laughs> no. Well, now she isn't. But she's old. She's in her forties now. But well, she might have been hot back in the day. Sure. Well, she was you good know. enough to, to to suck cock on on video. Oh yeah, she was a fucking hooker. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so you know, it it is exactly. It's just it's distraction. It's stupid. I mean, this has been going on, like you said, for years, Graham. I mean, this is all to keep us all this focusing on something else. Right, right. You right. know, it's a distraction technique. It's it, it's the same old shit they've been doing. You know, and people try to think, oh, it's going to be different this time. I get you wanting to be it for it to be different. Right. I get that. But it doesn't. It doesn't matter who the fuck is the puppet. The strings are being pulled by people we're not supposed to know. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, uh, you guys don't believe that. You guys actually think the president has actual power? I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, I don't. Know. There's, there's no. Uh... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Well, what, what can you actually say? <laughs> You know, and this Avenatti guy, he, they're going to rake him over the fucking coals. He could go to prison. I mean, it's not a joke here, people. This guy's looking at prison time. Good. I mean, yeah, he's a piece of shit lawyer. A liar, lawyer, liar. Yeah. Same thing. Um, it, you know, all these guys, it, it's just ridiculous. This has been, this whole, since Trump's supposedly been the president, this has been a fucking joke. Yeah, it has been. Yeah. And Crazy. now this guy says, you know, he, he he's asinine, and he does not think before he speaks, which you would think you would want somebody in that role to think before they would fucking speak. And, I mean, I'm not the fucking president. I don't well, always yeah. you know, I speak, I, I, I but think, hello, I'm not the fucking president. I, I, right? think, I think the thing is, he he's he's been in his his uh you know doing his private businesses for so long, and he's been yep. the boss of everybody for so long, right? That he's just used to saying whatever the fuck he wants, and everybody accepts it, right? But but exactly. it's, it's just not the same kind of job. <laughs> and so what I thought about the other day was that's why they wanted him as their puppet. Probably. That's why. Probably. Because he's just so bizarre and off the wall, and just so fucking such a dickhead that. You know, it's just like he 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 does grab attention. <laughs> Even negative attention is attention, right? Yeah. <laughs> so it's like <laughs> Kate Kate's a little quote from somebody. I don't know. It, was, yeah. it went from Avenatti 2020. I guess he was going to run for president to Avenatti 20 to 25. <laughs> right. No shit. Uh, and it's but, like but, you know, 
you guys need to you need to not I mean uh you need to do what you want to do but I just I can't play along anymore. No, I I don't no. buy the mainstream media at all. Voting is violence. I know who controls the mainstream media. And for other people to get all up in arms about shit that's going on in the US when they do not reside here. It's like really? Really? Yeah. You anyway. don't live in this country, so I mean, I get caring because the U.S. is a big old fucking bully of the fucking world and a big old bitch. Yeah. And I get the hatred for the U.S. I do because I don't like I don't like the U.S. government. I love the country that I live in, but I dislike and hate. Well, the whatever. World. It's it's the same. You know, there's beautiful dirt everywhere, so. Right. Exactly. Whatever. There's beautiful places <laughs> all over the world. Exactly, bro. Yeah, it's but, not. Yeah. Anyway, hi Donna. Hi Hansel. Yeah, hey, hey y'all. Y'all, y'all. y'all. <laughs> y'all. But speaking of Trump, here, here's something that came out a couple of days ago that cracked me up. Because, <laughs> like, yep. really, what are you going to do? Uh, anyway, Trump orders agencies to prepare for potential EMP attacks. And, uh, oh my God. And, and my question is, what the fuck are you going to do? But anyway, Donald Trump signed an executive order on Tuesday ordering federal agencies to take steps to protect the country from potential electromagnetic pulses. The order calls on federal agencies to coordinate preparations to prevent and react to an electronic pulse, or EMP, which is a blast of electromagnetic energy that can damage the U.S. electric grid and other infrastructure. Uh, today's executive order, the first ever to establish a comprehensive policy to improve resilience to EMPs, is one more example of how the administration is helping keep its promise to always be vigilant against present dangers uh, and future threats, White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders said. The National Security Advisor, the Walrus, oh, is that him, John Bolton? Uh, is, is taken is tasked with overseeing the implementation of the order, which calls on agencies to identify critical infrastructure and establish ways to pr- protect them from EMPs. And all I got to say is, good fucking luck. Um, <laughs> especially, especially if, if it's a uh, you know comes from the sun. Because you're, you're just you, uh, you just you just don't you don't have it, right? You know, there's, there's no way to do it I mean, unless you, you know, like make a whole like uh, uh, Faraday cage around the whole planet, right? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Which I'm sure, if it was ever going to be possible, uh, that would cause several other problems. <laughs> so. Oh my God! Uh, I tell you, man, the funny And so, one. yeah, it is. You know, and just the the fact that he even says he's going to completely shut down the Mexican border. Oh right, that was a whole other. He's going to piss people off because do you no, know no, how wait, much wait, business said, this country said, does with Mexico and how much food we get from Mexico? To completely shut down the border means it's completely closed. Meaning it stops all trucking in and out of there. And right. you, people in the U.S. don't realize how much food this country gets from Mexico. All kinds of stuff. All, all and other tires. Uh, many, many things. Lots, Tech, lots of your cars tires. are assembled down there. Yes, cars. So for him to make the asinine comment that he's going to completely shut down the border, that's going to piss off a lot of business owners that fucking do business in Mexico. Because to completely shut it down means you're completely shutting it down, correct? Uh, well, he said, uh, he said, I'm going to completely shut it down, or at least parts of it. <laughs> okay, see? What? Come on, fucker. Before you speak, you dumb fuck. Uh... And he can't do it. He doesn't have the power, the ability to do it. He thinks he can because he's the president. He can't just... He can make the statement all he wants. Right. Doesn't mean he can do it. Doesn't mean he's going to do it or make it happen. No. Right. 
Okay. So, he's just blowing shit smoke out of his fucking pie hole. So, hey. That's what he does. But well, that's what, that, uh, that's why he's there. Like we just said, Grim. Uh, right, he's exactly. He's a perfect puppet. Exactly. Yep. And, you know, he he does what he's supposed to do. No, just like the rest of them do. Uh, two, two of the biggest, two of the big stretches along the Mexican border are California and New Mexico. And neither of them. Uh, will 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 allow him to do that. So exactly, like <laughs> Rome says, he can't force the states to help. Yeah. So yeah. Because it's a it's, federal deal, right? Right. And, and it's all a state deal. Yeah. Yeah. And and these two are the biggest Democrat states, you know. Exactly. He's not going to make this happen. He can make asinine comments like he's going to completely shut the Mexican border down, but he's not going to. Because you know how much of a hit that would take on the U.S. economy. He's he's stupid for even saying it. And not even just the economy. It would take a hit on the people because we wouldn't have certain goods available to us anymore. Right. Well, Goober's, Goober's suggestion was, oh, we could just make all this shit here. Well, yeah. there's certain things you can't make here. Bananas, I don't know if there's any bananas that are grown in the U.S. In the United States right now. There might be private farms somewhere in, like, maybe Hawaii. Florida. Florida, maybe. But bananas, them grow south of the border. Well, you can yeah. Puerto Rico, you get a lot of Puerto Rico, so. Right, Puerto Rico, that's part of the, it's the U.S. territory still, all right? Right. They won't make it a state. No. Because they can control it, they can, they can rape it. Better when it's just a territory. Well, besides that island, that, that island might just tip over any day. It might because they have so much garbage; they don't know <laughs> what to do with it. They have these huge garbage piles there. It's an island, right? Yeah. So through the years, and we're talking thirty, forty years, they've just been piling garbage in one spot over and over again. And so they're running out of space to put the garbage. So then they came up with this great idea to fucking. Put it on ships. Well, what do you think they fucking been doing with that shit? Dump it in the ocean. You bet. You bet. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> you know, the U.S. tries to say, oh, we're, we care about the environment. The government tries to say they care about the environment. Yeah. If they did, they wouldn't be doing shit like that. They wouldn't be counting on us. Right? Right. They wouldn't be trying to manipulate the fucking weather. They wouldn't be forcing these vaccines with toxic shit in them that's no good for us. Right. And they wouldn't be keeping weed illegal for as long as they have. Exactly. And hemp. So, you know what I say to them? Fuck off, yeah. bitch. I... Did you mute again? I think you muted again. Hello, hello. Oh, shit, I muted. Did you hear the fuck off part, though? I did. <laughs> All right. Okay. That, that's the main thing. Of course. That's the main thing. All right. Hansel, All right. Hansel I'm glad you're here, Hansel, because we have, <laughs> I, I found an article. This is the perfect gig, two-month gig, man. In two months, you can make $19,000. How's that sound to you? 19 grand for two, two months. months? Yeah. Oh. Wow. And all you got to do is sit in bed and, and watch television. Really? Yeah. According to wow. that, it says NASA will pay you $19,000 to stay in bed for two months. <laughs> uh, according to this, NASA is offering to pay someone, uh, several someones actually, uh, nearly $19,000 to spend two months in bed watching TV. Researchers want to look at the effects of artificial gravity on the body to see if it may be beneficial to astronauts who spend a long time in space. Twenty-four participants will travel to German Aerospace Center Spend 60 days in observation. No, but, no, thank you. No, the, thank you. The participants will be separated into two groups and will be propped up at an incline with feet above their head. Uh, this will reduce blood flow to the extremities, mimicking the effects of being in space. Volunteers will be required to do a number of activities while lying down, including eating, that's an activity, uh, reading, watching TV, and going to the bathroom. They can't get out of bed to go to the bathroom? Oh, gross. All right. Oh, one, one of the groups will will do all this while spinning. Uh, <laughs> to qualify, participants must speak German, Hansel, be in good health, 
and be between 24 and 55 years old. So I, I think you qualify for everything there, Hans. You know. I think so. See, you spin around for a couple months at a time. I think that might might shake some something into your head. <laughs> Oh boy! Uh, good night, Beth. <laughs> All right, so I, I found that humorous. <laughs> you still there? You still with me? I'm here. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not quite sure. Too much sure these days. Yeah. So. Anyway, um, this should make you happy. I think. Okay. Maybe, possibly. All right. I hope so. Bear. Loses second roundup glyphosate trial, ordered to pay eighty million dollars. <laughs> now, oh bear, oh bear, b a y e r. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I saw a thing sometime earlier this week. It was the uh, CEO of Bear mm -hmm. uh, come out and said, "Well, we still think that uh, it was a it was a great idea to buy Monsanto, and we're sticking with it." Uh, but anyway, so <laughs> then this comes out the next day. Um, Bayer AG has lost a second trial over claims that its Roundup weed killer causes cancer. It's not just claims, buddy. And right. has been ordered yeah. by San, a San Francisco jury to pay damages of $5.3 million and punitive damages of $75 million to a 70-year-old California man, Edwin Hardiman, who was diagnosed with cancer after spraying the herbicide on his property for decades. Of course. Yeah. So uh, the plaintiff's attorney said he... Uh, developed non-Hodgkin's lymphoma after 26 years of regularly using Roundup to tackle weeds and poison oak, according to the Wall Street Journal. The active ingredient in Roundup is Ranger and Ranger Pro, i never heard of that one, is glyphosate, a herbicide. Uh, Wednesday, a Wednesday's verdict follows a similar decision last August, which a former school groundskeeper was awarded $289 million after uh, claiming Roundup gave him non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. So, German Bayer AG acquired Roundup, a brand of glyphosate and weed killers, in its $66 billion purchase of Monsanto in June of last year. Yep. Uh, responding to the verdict, Bayer said in a statement, We're so disappointed with the jury's decision, but this verdict does not change the weight of, of over four decades of extensive science. And oh, bull fucking shit. And, and the conclusions of regulators worldwide that support bullshit. the safety of our glyphosate based herbicides. Oh, wow, wow, wow. I'm that, sorry. And that they are not carcinogenic. The verdict in this trial has no impact on future cases and trials, of course, nonsense, as each, of, each one has its own factual and legal circumstances. Bear will appeal this verdict. <laughs> anyway, there's a whole bunch of other stuff in there, people bouncing back and forth with different information and stuff, and oh, quite the very many comments that are just hilarious. Over there on the Zero Hedge site. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you know, fuck Monsanto Bear, whoever you want to call them. They, they, they deserve all the pain they can get for all the pain they've given. Uh, especially Monsanto with their uh, with their seeds. You still there? Am I, am I talking to myself again? All right. Uh, no, I'm here. Oh, I'm okay. here. <laughs> I'm here. My son just came into the room, so I had to mute for a second here. All right. But um. Yeah. So I I I you know. They they need to pay. They need to pay big and bad, and if if these okay one trial right. one trial might be an anomaly. Two is definitely precedent. Right. So uh, from this point forward, you want to if you come down with this crap and you've been using their their products, sue their asses and, and get your millions because hell, yeah, you're gonna die anyway. Uh, you know you got this non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Uh, you might as well suck suck everything you can out of them and you know spend as much as you can before you die. Give the rest to your friend, family and friends. <laughs> You know? <laughs> yes? No? Yes. Okay. No, I mean, I see my neighbor out last summer using fucking Roundup, and it's just, it, it makes me sick. It makes me ill if they even sell it. I see it in the stores when I get sick. If you ever walk in your Walmart or any store like that, 
fucking walk through the fucking yard, yard lawn care section, you'll fucking gag from all the fucking, you can smell the shit. You know, they can package it all they want, but it still leaks out. It's like, this is harming us, people. You, you know, the chemtrails, I mean, people, people act like chemtrails are natural clouds. It's like, what the fuck's wrong with you? Yeah. They act like they're fucking exhaust from a plane. It's like, dude, no, exhaust from a plane vaporizes a little hell of a lot fucking faster than that. Yeah. But people are just walking around oblivious. Oh, oh, that's new clouds. Like, what the fuck? Exactly. What's wrong with you, motherfucker? <laughs> Why would you not fucking question it? Because right. you're so fucking brainwashed that you fucking can't think for yourself? Oh, yeah, exactly. you're only using 10% of your brain. Okay, got it. Yeah, and that and that 10% is damaged. Anyway, Ro- exactly. Rome, Rome says he's exposed himself to so many poisons he wouldn't know who to sue. Well, right. you sue the one with the deepest pockets. At right. this point in time, that, that that's Bear slash Monsanto. Um, right. And, and, you know. Yeah. <laughs> No, don't see yourself, dude. You don't have no value money. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> sue the people that are uh, that have the most money. You know, I mean, the creator of aspartame should be dead and buried by now. He should have been hung a long time ago. Right. Or the the the, propon- the 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 person that promoted it, Donald Rumsfeld. I guarantee you, he's got two fucking homes. Living the fucking high life, dude. He doesn't have to worry about fucking money. He's responsible for the deaths and poisoning of thousands and millions of people. Yep. You know, it's like, really? Fuck you. You're a dick. You're just as bad as fucking goddamn uh, Mengula, as far as I'm concerned. Sure. Donald Rumsfeld like, is like Mengula. Okay? They allowed him to experiment on people, and they're still allowing it. That product's still out there, alive and well. Aspartame. Right. And I still have people that I talk to in the modern day that are smart. They're educated. They're, they have a college degree. Not that that means shit. No. They have a college fucking degree, and they're sitting there, and they don't even know what the fuck aspartame is while they're sucking down their Diet Coke every fucking day. It's like, you don't even know what the fuck you're consuming? Trust the FDA is that fucking much. Well, you. the FDA says it's okay, so... Do, 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 do. Really? Do your fucking research. Make Know what you're putting into your fucking body. All right? Right. Know what it is that you are allowing them or allowing yourself to put in your body. If you don't, you're stupid. Yeah, you got no one to blame but yourself. Right. You're stupid right, for yeah, blindly we... trusting uh, really insidious and evil fucking people and a, an evil en- entity. Yeah. You're trusting evil over your own mind. What the fuck? Yeah. All right. I have a public service announcement for all dog owners out there. Okay. Um, I'm a dog owner. And. And you probably, I don't, I've never heard of this product, so you probably don't use it, but whatever. Darwin's Natural Pet Products dog food could contain salmonella. Never used it, but... Ever okay. heard of it? Uh, never heard of it either. Nope. All right, well, I guess in the case of natural selection, it comes down to Darwin's dog food. Okay. Uh, anyway, <laughs> the, the FDA is warning pet owners to check their bags of Darwin's Natural Pet Products raw dog food. Three lots of the dog food have tested positive for salmonella. Oh, that's hot. Uh, you can see your bag of dog food is affected by checking the group of numbers below on the package. And then here, then here's the part that pisses me off. Mm-hmm. It always pisses me off whenever I see this. Right. Whenever a company puts out a faulty product or tries to do a, a silent recall or a small recall on a product, they say, any matching products should be thrown away immediately. Hey! I paid for that. I'm not just going to throw it away. You give me my money back or give me a new product to replace this. I ain't throwing this shit away. Uh, anyway, <laughs> it always pisses me off when I when I read that. Oh, yeah, just throw it out. What do you care? It was all your money. Uh, anyway, there's a link to that. These links will be in the, in the, the blog tomorrow. So you can, uh, if you 
bought any of this Darwin's natural pet products, natural, natural selection. <laughs> <laughs> just a bad name for a product. Right, no doubt. You know, this is how they get you, though. They fucking get away with this marketing of these products. When, and then people just look at that and they say, oh, it's natural. They don't turn it over and look at the ingredients. Or they don't fucking do any research. It's just like with anything. Oh, the, the government says i got to get this fucking flu vaccine, so I better fucking do it. It's like, dude, really? Yeah. You just sort of blindly if I can trust that, and I go... Let them shoot you up. Fuck that. Right. No, I learned, you know what? I, I fucking like to think for my fucking self. I I'm don't let anyone else fucking make decisions for me. I'm, fucking, I'm certainly not going to let no fucking government make a decision for me. Oh, no, of course not. No. All right, we're going to go to some more music right here. All right. And this first one, you know, I, I, I hope this is better than most of the other stuff I've heard. Coming out of Pace Studios. Okay. Uh, I'm not familiar with this band other than I think we have played them here before. All um, right, cool. Here you go. All right, that there is a Chloe request, the Midnight Special, John Fogarty at Austin City Limits. Before that, a Mr. Vin E. request, the Folsom Prison Blues slash Pinball Wizard mashup, uh, Puddles a Pity Party. And we kicked it off there with a Benoit request, Mandolin Orange doing Wildfire in the Paste Studios there. I don't I don't know what it is about the Pace Studios that causes the problem, but it seems like everybody that plays there takes it down a couple of notches, you know? It just, I don't know, there must be something wrong with that studio. I, I've seen a lot of videos coming out of that place, and and every band <laughs> do it. You know, Tal Wilkenfeld did a bunch of, bunch of videos from the Pace Studios. Which studio? studio? Yeah. Pace Studios. Yes, yes. Uh, yep. Tal Wilkenfeld did a bunch of videos out of there, and every one of them was like, you know, it's just like she just turned it off, turned off her her energy uh, right. when she was in there. And and that band there, I mean, I've seen a, uh, other videos by them mm -hmm. uh, that we've done here uh, on uh, Frickers Ball, and, and right. they, they were more energetic. So I, I don't know what the hell it is about that place. But, uh, yeah, weird. Yeah, some something goofy. Some vibe or some aura, maybe. Or or maybe that's just what they, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, hmm. Anyway. I don't know. <laughs> I know what you're saying, though. I do know what you're saying. Yeah. So. so yeah. Um. I'm just uh getting through life, going through the motions. It's like I said before, kind of having some fucking. Not really anxiety, but just like wanting to do something else or go somewhere else. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's just like you you get these full time jobs, and it's like you you don't get enough time off. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like people that work forty hour jobs, you know the way they get three weeks vacation is just they worked at the same place for twenty fucking years. Yeah. You know what I mean? Sure. I mean I had vacation time in my last job. That I worked there for four years, but I could never build it up because I always was busy with kids. I was a single mom. My kids were in high school, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you know, yeah, I and run, run here, run there. You know, it was just like I could never build it up. I haven't taken an actual vacation in, like, years. Like, 15 fucking years. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And it's like, you know what? Life is too goddamn short to not live it. You know, and I, you don't get older, you get, you don't get younger, you get older. <laughs> Generally speaking, and you yeah. can't stop it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And it's just, it's inevitable, and you do what you can. I mean, I, I have a lot of friends that are like 10 years older than me, 15 years older than me. Right. And they all say the same thing. They all agree with me. Yeah. You got to live your life when you can do it. Hey, you, you know, know what? Not, you the, know what? Well, the place I used to work back in the uh, 90s. Yeah. 80s, 90s. Mm -hmm. um, I, I wound up, you know, I, I was getting six weeks vacation per year. Mm -hmm. 
And Which is pretty. That's really good, actually, Graham. Well, six, but, that's pretty good. But the thing is, after you got the six weeks, yeah, and, and you didn't get no more. Yeah, they just started taking it from you. Right. And, and, it was just, yeah. It's like what the fuck. Yeah. So and, and I know? and and so with me, it was like I could never. I never felt that I could take some time off, and 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 I worked tons of hours. I was on salary, so you just you don't get paid for that. You just. You know, right, when, right, when, when yeah. You, when, when salary kind of sucks sometimes. You know, salary, sl- yeah. Yeah, ten, twelve-hour days, and, and 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 they don't pay you for that shit. Um, they they pay no, you what they no, pay. No, they, they don't. Pay they pay your set amount. Yeah, right. Yeah. And and, the, and then they start stealing your vacation from you because you haven't used it. And it was just, oh, just give me a paycheck. It's like, that's bullshit. Just give me a yeah, check. I hate that. Yeah, you they know, use it or lose yeah. it. That's bullshit. Yeah, that's bullshit. Because yeah. they want you to get out of the office so you can. You but know, but they never things, did. Yeah. They didn't want me out of the office because it was always, always right. some freaking emergency that needed to be handled. Right, you know? right. You and, were like the go-to dude. Well, for for data, I was the data man. And, yeah, you were the guy. And, and there was you nobody know, else like, that could, you know. Right. I, I tried. Well, you're tried. smart as fuck, so obviously you were the guy. You know. <laughs> I tried to train people for years. And you could have probably taken over the whole fucking company. You no, know? no, no, no. This is oh good. yeah, you could have. <laughs> <laughs> you're Grimner. You're yeah, Grimner. Right. Anyways, uh, but, but I, I was I was really into that whole work ethic thing back then. Right, uh, and then you know what? Yep, it's useless. It's it's, it. It, it, mean, it means nothing. It means right. nothing. Right, and you know what? You know what happens? Like, look at these people that have worked for like GM for like thirty years. Yeah. You know, all of a sudden, oh, guess what? They're like, what? We're closing down the plant. Yeah. You know, these guys are two years away from retiring. Right. You know, I mean, h- how much can you fuck somebody? You know, I mean, seriously, that's fucking Apparently somebody. a lot. <laughs> Apparently. You know, it's like, really? You yeah. know, I mean, that's bullshit. You know, it, that's just, it, it sucks. It, it's just, because, it, you know, people do, a lot of people just put everything into their job. Right. And it's like, you know what? I don't. I'm not that kind of person. I yeah. don't. I, I was, put my I fucking self and my family and shit above that, any job. I, I was for a long time. I, I get pissed at people right. that, that didn't put in the effort, you know? It was just like, what's yep. wrong with you? Right. Man, you're here to do a damn job. Do your freaking job, man. Well, that's different. Doing a job is yeah. different than, you know, being in that corporate or that 40 hour a week environment where you get, you know... <laughs> 15 minutes every four hours of the break, you get a half hour lunch, you work, you know, it's the grind, it does, it, they call it a grind for the, a reason, it's because it grinds people down, Right. you know, it's really hard, like, when you are working in a job and you want to build up your personal time, you'll fucking drive in a fucking blizzard to get to fucking work, sure, or you'll go to fucking work when you're fucking ill as fuck, you're sick, yeah. You have no business being at work, but God damn it, you're not using a personal type day for that. Exactly. You've got to build up because you want to take a five-day five, five day vacation. Sure. You know, which it's never enough. You know, It's never enough. Like, seriously, the work ethic in this country, it sucks so bad. Yeah. Because it's harsh. It's hard. It is. And it, you know what I mean? It's in The older you get, it's like the more you're like, fuck this. Right. You know, fuck this shit. I don't. You know, I mean, it's just, it it gets annoying. Like, I am a person that loves to travel. I knew that having children when I did, that it, that was going to be eight, at least you know, a lifelong commitment, but at least they're going to need me for 18 years. Okay? Yeah. So I decided, okay, I will do this for 18 years. And I'm still doing it. I'm still their mom. I'm still helping them out financially, feeding their asses, you know, giving them vehicles to drive. It's not like I totally, like, cut them off. You know what I mean? Right. But they're, they're almost 19. They're adults. Yeah. They're going to be fucking on their own. They're on their own already. Well, they should be. Like, they don't fucking need me <laughs> like they used to. You know what I mean? So it, now is my time. And I'm at the age where I have to fucking do the shit that I want to do, or else I'm going to fucking run out of fucking time. You know, no one knows really how much time you have, do you? I'm not going to what. Right. You don't know how much time you fucking have. No, you don't. You never know. So, that, therefore, you have to make the best of it. Right. And being miserable, or being, ups- not upset, but being just, like, not completely happy, 
sucks ass. Sure. And I don't want to be that person. I don't want to just be going through the motions in life. I don't. I want to fucking do stuff. You know? I have abilities. I can go anywhere, at any place, in any part of this country and get a fucking job. Mm -hmm. I guarantee you I could. You know why? Because I have a confidence in myself. I can talk to people. I've been in a customer service position for like 25 fucking years in some sort of customer service position. So I could be a waitress, a bartender. I can fucking be anything. I can do sure. any job. Yeah, absolutely. I can get a job anywhere. Right. So if I have to move somewhere for a month, work somewhere part-time for a couple of weeks, okay, I'll do it. There you go. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like... I am not fucking around. I'm not fucking just being stagnant. I can't take it. My my mental health can't take it. Like, I'm not married to my job. I'm not like all, oh, I got to have the insurance or I got to have, you know what I mean? Fuck that shit. If I got to work this, mo this long in order to get just five days off from this fucking hellhole, fuck you. That ain't good enough. It's not good enough. Yeah. So... I got to do what I got to do to make me happy because sure. I care more about me and my family than I do about any fucking job. Right. You know, a job is a fucking job. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't define you. It does not. I mean, to some people it does because, like, let's say you're a musician. Being, I'm not a musician, but being a musician could be a job, right? If you're good at it. If you're fucking Robert Plant, or you're fucking Steve Vaughn, or you're Billy Strings, or you're the infamous String Dusters, or whoever the fuck you are, if you're good at that and you can make a living at it, then you're really not doing your job, are you? You're doing something you'd love to fucking do. Thank you, Sock! Thank you so much! You, you didn't ask what he was going to hire you for. Yeah, right, he didn't specify, but, you know. <laughs> true, true, there is that. But, thank you, Sock. Thank you. Thank you so much. Anyway, um, so it's like, you know what? I want to, I see some, like, okay, I, I'm, I'm, I do have my little vices once in a while. Uh-huh. I watch, I, I'm, a, I like, I love music. Music, like, is one of my greatest loves in my, in my whole life. I love music. If it weren't for music, I'd be fucking dead. And so I watched these, these, the voice. Oh, God. <laughs> American Idol. <laughs> But anyway, I see some of these people, and I'm like, dude, if I could, if I had a record label right now, I'd sign your ass. You know what I mean? Okay. And I'd be like, hey, you know what I should do? I should start a fucking record label. Yeah. <laughs> no, I know it's a dream, but you know what? It would be so cool. Wouldn't that be the coolest fucking job? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. God. Oh, my God. I think that would be the kick-ass job, though. Sure. Like this one kid, and I felt so bad for him because he's a really good kid, and he's a good singer, dude. He's an actual cowboy right. in Texas. He, like, lives on a ranch in Texas. He's a fucking cowboy. Uh-huh. And he's, like, 18, right? Yeah. And he's got the perfect country name to be a country singer. What is it? Colby Swift. Colby Swift. That is his name. Is he like Taylor Swift's brother or something? No, he's not. But he's fucking, he's a good old boy from down there in Texas. <laughs> and that motherfucker can sing. That's all I'm yeah. saying. Oh. He can sing. <laughs> I'd be like, dude, I'd sign you. Because right. you know what? I watch The Voice, too. And I have a, I just feel like I have a certain little connection with Blake Shelton. It's, Who's it, that? It, it's, it's Blake Shelton. Who is it? He's a country singer. Okay. Big star. Big, huge star. Yeah. He's the one that actually puts on, that invented the the show, The Voice. Anyway. Okay. So, anyway, he's this huge country star, right? All right. And I feel like I have a personal connection with this dude. Like, I can sit down with this guy, this guy and have some beers with him and shit. You yeah. know what I mean? And yeah. just cut the shit. And just, it would be like nothing. It would be like, no, you're not a star. I'm not, I'm nobody. You're a star. But right now, we're equal. You know what I mean? Right. So, anyway. Um, so I could, like, bring this kid over to Blake and go, hey, dude, just listen to this kid sing a song. Okay? I'll be like, I'm his manager. Can you sign him? <laughs> but <laughs> I'm still his manager, so you've got to pay both of us. Right, you know? right. <laughs> Okay, I know I'm dreaming. 
So I'm getting this, this is stupid. It doesn't even matter. It's just a stupid thing. But okay. I just my I guess my point is is I don't want to be defined by certain things. Like I've always had an issue. Like what do I want to do with my life? You know what I mean? That used to be the big question. Like, oh, what are you gonna do when you grow up? What do you want to do when you grow up? You know, I'm 52, so that was what people said to you. Old right. timers, they'd be like, well. they'd be like your grandparents. What are you gonna do when you grow up? They're like, fuck do I know? Yeah, I know what do you I still don't know, you know what I'm fifty eight. No fucking idea. You know, I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do. I don't even know what I wanna fucking do. Like I wanna be an archaeologist, I wanna be a paramedic. What was that? What was I wanna that? be all these things. It's like what was, what was, what Oh really? Okay. Well, uh, never mind, I'm not even coming. What go ahead. I am I'm 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 just I'm just I'm just trying to think there was a there was a quote, um Somebody, I think it was John Lennon. Um, I okay. can't remember what it was exactly, but uh, he said the teachers were always asking him, uh, "What is, what does he want to be when he grows up?" And he his yeah. response was, "Happy." And yes. the, and, the, and the teacher said, "I don't, I don't think you understand the question." I don't, yeah, you don't and, and he said, question. "He said, I don't think you understand life." Exactly. <laughs> right. Okay. Here we go. Now settle down in the chat room. Just saying that, you yeah. know. Anyway, um, so yeah, Grim, that's my point, is being happy is, is should be the most important thing. That should be your goal. That's, that's, a, that's a good goal for life. Exactly. You know? And if you're not happy, you're doing something then it's wrong. up to you to do something to change that. Right. It's not up to anybody else. You know, I mean, I seriously, I talked to a lady tonight that has a four-year-old and she had her when she was 40 and her and her husband just moved from like the Milwaukee, a Milwaukee suburb to Eau Claire. Right. And really cool person. And so this is a true story. I'm not trying to brag about myself right now, but this truly happened. I'm going to tell you what happened. So the bar, it's called, you know, it's the local Eau Claire bar. I go to often. I'm pretty much a regular. I'm not, I'm not a drunk. I'm not a bar fly. I go there to eat food. It's a bar and grill. It's not just a bar. But anyway, um, this, I met this woman that just moved. She's been in Eau Claire five days. And she's got to go back to her house tomorrow to clean it out, the old house, to do one last clean out of it, right? But she's got to drive far away to do it. But anyway... She didn't know, first time at this place, right? She didn't know they're cash only. Cash only bar, right? They do have an ATM machine there. But she did not have an ATM card with her. She only had credit cards with her. Okay. So she was not able to pay her tab. Mm. Because she couldn't get cash from the ATM and she didn't have, you know, a debit card. And so I'm like, I got it. I got your tab. She's like, really? I'm like, yeah. She's like, I'll pay. You know, because before that, like, she had got my phone number and everything. Because she's like, oh, we should go. She she likes music and stuff. You know what I mean? We started talking about music, and she, she's new to Eau Claire. And I told her about Blue Lush. You know what I mean? Right. And so she had got my phone number already because we were going to make plans to, like, go out some night to see live music or something. You know what I mean? Okay. A really cool person. Now, she's married. She's got a four-year-old. You know what I mean? Nothing weird, you know? <laughs> so, anyway, so then it comes down where she's going to leave, and she can't pay her fucking tab. Yeah. And it was like twenty three fifty. It wasn't a cheap tab because she had like three glasses of wine, and she got fish fry and everything. Okay. Her tab was like twenty three fifty. And then, plus, I was there with Zach. So, our tab was like uh, 30 All right. Okay. So, six, and so 60 bucks with tip. 60 bucks with tip. 61.50 is what I wrote the check out for. All right. So I covered her tab and our tab. And she was like, oh, my God. She's like, I can't believe this. She's like, you are so awesome. I mean, she's like, really? I'm like, I, she's like, I have no way of getting cash. When she first said that, I'm like, you know what? She's like, what? I'm like, I will pay your tab for you. Yeah. She's like, really? I'm like, yeah. She's like, oh, my gosh, I'm going to pay you back. We're going to go out some night. We're going to get some dinner and go see some live music and stuff. And I trust this lady. You know, I, I just go by that. I go by gut instinct. 
You know what I mean? Sure. And so I know she's not going to rip me off. And even if she does, it was $23.50. It's not a big deal. You know what I mean? Everyone's been there. Everyone's been in that situation. Right. And I, feel, I do stuff like that for people because I know I'm going to get it in return. You know, because like if I wasn't awesome. that sim- if, well, that too, but if I was <laughs> in that similar situation, I could totally understand that. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. you go to a new place, you don't know they're cash only, you're not ready, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. She only had credit cards, no debit cards, so she couldn't get money out of the ATM. She was, like, totally stuck with that tab. Right. You know, I'm like, you know what? I got this. So I think I think some of those uh, ATM machines will let you uh, do a cash withdrawal from a it credit advanced, card. It costs a lot of money. Oh, well, absolutely. Yeah, it's the a credit crazy. card. You, the cash advance on a credit card is just a stupid very, move. Very, very expensive. Yeah. So, yeah. But if you're only talking about 30 bucks, you know, what the hell. I mean, and this is a new person to Eau Claire. You know what I mean? We had a totally awesome conversation. She has a four-year-old. I was telling her about the schools and everything. My son was there. He was. We were telling her go to North instead of like a memorial. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, we were giving her the inside scoop because she's new to the area. You know what I mean? And so it was like a goodwill fucking deal, dude. It was a totally goodwill move on my part. You know what I mean? Right, I right. totally. I I didn't. I I didn't hesitate. I'm like, you know what? She's like, what? I'm like, I will pay your tab. And she's like, really? I'm like, yeah. She couldn't believe it, though. She really, like, floored. You know what right. I mean? I'm like, no, I'm a regular here. I'm like, they know me here. I'm like, you're good, dude. We got you. You know? She's like, oh, thank you so much. You know what I mean? She was just, like, floored, dude. She was. And that, that was great. If It makes you feel good. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. To help people out. You know? I mean, it's not going to make me or break me. It was $23.50, her tap. You know, but I I trust her. She's not gonna fuck me. You know, 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 I mean, it's just weird how shit like that happens. You know? Yeah. That's just universe. That's a. It's weird how the universe works. The universe does do things like that. Sure. It puts you in situations and circumstances where, you know, it just it just goes down the way it's supposed to go down. You know? Absolutely. And the best part about it was my kid was right there. Yep. Right next to me. He saw me do that. Cool. And then when she left, I'm like, I said to her, Zach, I go, you know what? I go, even if I don't see that money, I don't care. You know what I mean? She needed help, and there's going to be some time where you or me is going to need help, and someone else is going to step up for us. There you go. You know what I mean? Yep. And that's how that shit works. Yep. Because yep. I believe in karma, dude. Absolutely. And I even said to her, I'm like, you know what? What goes around comes around. That's what I said to her, you know? That'd do. That'd do. It do. It do. All right. So, uh, I just want to do, uh, right. Kate posted up a link after uh, when I started that last set. Mm-hmm. Uh, the the company with that dog food there, they have sent a response. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. To, to the FDA, or they responded to it. I don't know if they sent it to them. Uh, but uh, Darwin responds to the FDA warning. says, uh, today the FDA issued a public warning regarding the three lots of Darwin poultry meat meals. Uh, for dogs produced last fall, which were delivered to customers back in November uh, and early in tw- December 2018. These are the same lots which were alerted customers via email last month. We're disappointed in the FDA's decision to issue <laughs> a public warning. We think this warning really? is un- unnecessary as we are confident these meals have been completely consumed without incident. We have contacted the customers who received the meals and have not received any medical reports of illnesses to their pets or humans attributable to these meals, as uh, we have shared their, uh, with our customers before. So the, the FDA they just, I don't know, maybe these people piss the FDA off and the FDA says, all right, let's find something that we can get on, get get them on. So anyway, thanks for that, Lake Kate. Um, it's good to know that, uh, well, I don't know if it's good to know, but yeah, the FDA screws people over. <laughs> yeah, they do. Well, yeah, they 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 let allow toxic products be safe for people and animals. It's like fuck you, FDA. Yeah. I call them the Federal Death Agency, and I stick by that. I've been calling them that for fucking fifteen years. Federal Death Agency. Yeah. I mean, to me, that's what they are because they allow these toxic products like Roundup and fucking these toxic vaccines and all these fucking 
opioids and addictive prescription medicines and the list goes on and on. And toxic vaccines. It, you know, that's that's the number one right there for me. Right. Fuck that. Fuck that. Okay. Well, so, I have a story here that'll piss you off. Okay. 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 I'm going to mute. I'm going to mute then while you're saying the story. Cause if it's going to piss me off, then I'm going to, you know, probably have an outburst. All right. Well, I'm, I'm not going to read it. I'm just going to tell okay. you. Okay. 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 I All won't right. mute. I'll, I'll give you the title. It's on Reason. <laughs> okay. It's on Reason. Uh huh. A mom ignores doctor when her two her sick two year old starts feeling better. Child services send a SWAT team. So what happened was uh, this this woman's uh, kid was sick. Yeah. Uh, was had a temperature. Oh, a high, I heard about this. Had a high yes. fever. Yes, and, I heard and, about and, this. And, and so it's the, wo- yeah. so the woman takes takes the kid down to the doctors there, and and the kid had like 101 fever or something like that. And and the doctor said, okay, well we need you to take this kid to the emergency room because we don't. We 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 can't do anything right here. So you take it down to the place where all the other sick bastards are hanging out, um, in the emergency room where people are just coughing and pocket up loogies and stuff. Anyway, <laughs> so she said, "All right, that's fine." And and she took her kid back to the car uh, with with her other kids, and and the, and the kid was starting to feel better, and he was picking up energy, and he was feeling fine, and he was playing with the other the other children. And so the mother said, "Fine, I don't need to take him to the to the emergency room or anywhere. He's he's doing yeah. better. He's, he's better on his own." Right. So right. she she took him home, and um, she called the doctor. I'd have to read through it again, but either she called the doctor or the doctor called her, um, because the doctor had called the emergency room, I guess, to tell them to expect her to come there. Mhm. And and uh, so either way, they talked to the doctor and the woman. And the doctor said, well, I said, we think you should still take her down there. Or the kid, I don't know. If it's right, the right, right. And the, and the woman said, oh, okay. No, 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 it's, uh, he's fine. No, we'll no, 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 the, the woman oh, agreed. Okay. The woman agreed. She said, oh, oh okay, fine. okay. I'll take her down. There. Oh, okay. And, and, and um, but she never did because there was there was really no reason to. And, and she saw that wasn't a problem. Um, so, uh, anyway, the, uh, uh, I guess the doctor called her back after that and said, hey, uh, What's going on? Your kid, the emergency room was expecting right. you, and he never, he never showed up. He said, "Oh, the kid's feeling better now. The fever, yeah, he's feeling better. Yeah, the fever broke, and every, everything's fine." Right. And and the doctors, well, we think you should still take him down there. Uh, uh, no, and, I'm good. Yeah, and there's no reason to. Anyway, right. so so the uh, apparently they called the child services. And oh my fuck you! And, ah. and the child services. Uh, came to the door and, and said, they, they they violently broke into the house. Well, they, yeah. they, they took a door off the fucking hinges and shit. Oh yeah, they, they just totally blew it. I away. mean, they fucking went in there with fucking guns blazing, dude, for a fucking kid with a fever. Right. This is the third right, okay? Not the third, the fourth right. I mean, we seriously are living in the fourth fucking right, people. For one, your the biggest mistake that parent made was calling the doctor. Or even going to the doctor. <laughs> going to the doctor in the first place for a fever. Right. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, come on. Don't trust these fuckers. No, ne- never. Not at all. They'll fucking, they'll sabotage you in a fucking heartbeat. One call from some medical professional from some hospital. Oh, this mom isn't bringing her kid in and it's deathly ill. You know, that's their opinion. But the cops are like, what? Well, they knew better than it being deathly ill, but that's... Right, course. yeah, they knew that. But you don't know. Maybe they said that. Yeah. Maybe the person that called the cops said, oh, this kid has a fever. The mom's refusing treatment from the kid. You know, they could say, you know, and the, the cops going to perceive it like, what? The mom's not uh, allowing treatment for their sick child? Oh, they're a criminal. We need to go get them and get that child, get that child to the hospital right now. Right. Like, so anyway, they, uh, yeah. they took all the kids from her and oh you know what <laughs> really all of them yeah because of one well, that uh, oh my how traumatic is that can you imagine that uh, i can't i'd be scared as fuck i'd be like i'd be worried for my kids safety i'd be, be worried soon sock it's it's uh, uh I'm, I'm running on a, on a on a rigged up system this tonight <laughs> yeah, he is. He's like, uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, I got a, I got a new piece on 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 order, and it should be here on Monday. So. Sweet. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, anyway, because the the way I've got it set up, it's all maxed out. But yeah, nothing else I can do. Any, anyway, we're gonna play some more music right now. Anyhow. Now let's do that. And uh, and uh, and uh, I guess that's it. 
We're playing music. <laughs> We're playing music, people. Yeah. Enjoy. Enjoy. And how could you not? <laughs> Ah, very nice there. That, uh, that there's a band called Rumors of Fleetwood Mac, and they cover uh, various Fleetwood Mac tunes. And uh, that particular tune is the Green Man Alici from Peter Green Fleetwood Mac, back when Fleetwood Mac was a good band. <laughs> Before that, we had a Moose Girl request there, Billy Strings doing Pretty Daughter, and we kicked it off with Stevie Ray Vaughan and Double Trouble with Superstition, the original video that they used to play back when MTV was actually playing good music. <laughs> right, right. No, I mean, okay, you used to say Fleetwood Mac was a good band before, but I grew up on the the newer version, so... Right, well, before the gals joined... I loved the, them. Before, I loved them. Be, before the gals joined the band, it was a good band. Yeah, well, whatever. <laughs> whatever. I grew up on Stevie Nicks, or the Fleetwood Mac with Stevie Nicks and Christine McVie, so... Yeah, that's I know. A, that's the Fleetwood Mac that I know. I know. <laughs> but, but I know, Grim, I know how you are, so whatever. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> whatever. Anyway. All right, let me see if I got some stories i got to cover All before right. we get out of here. Sure. Um, yeah, there's a... Uh, this place, they, they say they're a email verification place, uh, enterprise email validation place, uh, called verifications.io. All right. They leaked the personal records of two <laughs> billion users. Are you kidding? I am oh, wow. not kidding. And, and what, would, what this place would do, like uh, a company or whoever uh, would want to verify that emails were good, so they would, they would route it through this company. And they exposed all of their information, all of their personal data, um, and and collected all their emails. Um, so, so th this place, uh, see, it says once again, there's another data leak exposing personal data and business intelligence information from an unsecured source. Researchers have uncover uncovered yet another leaked database containing a vast set of personal data. This latest discovery was by Bob Dyachenko, a researcher at Security Discovery. Uh, through his blog post, Dyachenko claims that this database is an unsecured MongoDB uh, belonging to an email validation service, uh, valid verification Dio. Uh, during cross-checking the database, Dyachenko teamed up with Troy Hunt of Have I Been Pwned? Have I Been Pwned? to collaborate on determining if the leak data was entirely new unique set. He concluded that the leak was not a collection of previous breaches, as has been the case with other recent leaks. Um, so all kinds of information by, from all these people, their their name, their IP address, their uh, employment information, um, all, all kinds of different stuff that was leaked out uh, through these guys. And I, I just don't understand how a company hoping to be an enterprise email validator uh, could could wind up leaking out all this information. Two billion. I mean, that's huge. That's a monstrous. Yes, it is. Two, what the fuck? Right. Anyway, so you can see this yeah. article over on Side Barrier. It's like Cyber Warrior, but SideBarrier.com. Um, so, uh, just, just, just incredible. Um, yeah, you. what the no hell? <laughs> All right, 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 we got, we got some more. I mean, come on, it's like really, everyone's information's out there. I mean, pretty soon the fucking social security numbers are going to wipe them out, you know, because everyone's going to be like, oh, I got this social, you know what I mean? Okay, something I found out today. Something like that, I don't know. Uh, so, something I found out today, uh, which I probably would have never known. But I, I installed the uh, I installed the Brave browser on uh, on, on my uh, Linux machine. What browser? Brave. Brave. Okay. Okay. It, it, it is a Chrome-based browser. 
Okay. So I said, great, uh, that's fine. Everything works really cool with it. Uh, let me go and um, download some of the plugins that I normally use. One of them being uh, YouTube Video Downloader. Mm -hmm. However, I found out Google has banned all YouTube <laughs> video downloaders from the Chrome uh, Web Store. I imagine that. Because Google owns YouTube. Right. So right. anyway, I, I went out and I found one that works. So mm -hmm. if anybody has a Google Chrome browser or a knockoff of a Google Chrome browser like Brave or uh, other, there's various other ones. Opera, I think, is now on Chrome, and uh, oh, okay. uh, that that one will work for you. And, and I, I okay. downloaded it, tested it out, tried it. It works great. Uh, and it's just called YouTube Video Downloader. It's from AddOnCrop.com. Uh, so, if you are using a Chrome browser and you need, for whatever reason, to be able to download YouTube videos, uh, that's the way to do it. So, cool. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, cool. Um, nice. Good here. one. Got that one cleared. Um, <laughs> it was like, all right, well, let's, uh, <laughs> oh, it's, it's not there now. Oh, wow. Darn it. I hate when that happens. They pulled the story. I oh, hate that. They do that too. all the time. Dude. Okay. It, it, they, like, scrub the story. It's like they'll put oh, it well, out there well, and they'll be like, oh, shit. Let me, let, me, let me tell you the headline of the story that they pulled. Okay. And you will be totally not surprised. Probably not. FBI accused of omitting evidence from the 9-11 report. Okay. So yeah. They, no, not surprised. Yeah, not they surprised. pulled that not story from courthousenews.com, which is usually good good on stuff. <laughs> um, Holy shit. Anyway, yeah, I, I used to use courthouse news all the time back, back in the day when I did... Uh, Holy the, the shit. The RLM News show. Um, Holy shit. I'll, I'll pass on this one for now. Um, uh, <laughs> oh, oh, here's a good one. Goober. Oh, I hope you're tuned in, man. Uh, I, I, I think he is. He's been commenting. All right, so. here you go, Goob. Spaceships. <laughs> yeah, spaceships, man. Mike Pence, your vice president. Uh, not Matt, mine. No, no, no. Not, not yours. Not yours. His. Goober's. Okay. All right. Thank you. Tells thank you. NASA to accelerate human missions to the moon by any means necessary. Though he didn't really say how. Anyway, so um, the, he says that he wants to be able to get humans on the moon by 2024. So there you go. Spaceships, man. Spaceships. Space <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> That's over there on the verge. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> All right, we gotta do we gotta we gotta do this thing here. We'll, we gotta do this thing. We'll be right back. We will. This. We'll be back, people. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, spaceships. Oh yeah, Bamba Lam <laughs> Spider Bait Black Betty. <laughs> All right, folks, that's going to wrap it up here for tonight. Had a great time doing the show tonight. It's been fun. Uh, played some good music. Had some good chat there. And yeah, we about, did. Talked about some interesting stories. And um, right. we'll be back again next Friday night with another edition of the Freakers Bow. We shall, we shall. Uh, tomorrow is the Dork Table. Sunday is the Blues and Trivia and Hal Anthony. And I'm on Monday night with the uh, Grim Leftovers. Uh, Flash is on Tuesday with uh, In a Perfect World. Grammy, Friday, and uh, Wednesday and Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern, Grammy's Rocket Jail. And uh, Flash on Thursday, 2 p.m. Eastern, 20% off. He's going to try and juke you down or you're with something like that. Anyway, I'm going to back on next Friday. Uh, you know it. Y'all have Thanks yourself a great everyone. weekend. 
Have yep. A have a kick-ass weekend. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate y'all. Yep. Peace. Peace.